everyone hello uh, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, some beads from polymer clay and there are two types of polymer clay uh, regarding the methods of drying of the first one it's quite popular among children it's a uh, dry clay when it's air dry clay when actually you make beads or you make any kind of like um, items and then it dries in 24 48 hours and I have this kind of like set it's not professional set it's not professional polymer clay it's actually for children but I bought it because it was on sale and I have grandchildren and I was thinking okay we can play with this kind of polymer clay but also it's uh, textures like you know five textures 12, 12 colors and it's a uh, really interesting polymer clay and I was thinking I'll try to make some beads and that's why uh, I'm gonna work on this polymer clay I'm going to work with this polymer clay and I will show you there are two methods of making beads with polymer clay as uh, I'm not going to mix the colors this time uh, probably I will later but at the moment I actually want to learn uh, the quality of this polymer clay because I never used this one before so for me it's some kind of like test test and um, I'm going to use uh, this type of bead maker I'll show you later and um, we'll see uh, how it looks we'll see how uh, the, the finished product so let's start it I'm going to use a silicone pad it's pink color but it's okay it's okay for work and it's very smooth and not sticky I also uh, will be using some uh, uh, cookie cutters okay so let's open the first one the first one polymer clay I'm not gonna use any gloves but maybe a shoot and it's a very soft and nice oh my goodness it's sticky and it's actually has some some uh, uh, color came out so probably I have to mix better so I need to put some gloves on okay okay I have my gloves and I probably take just a small piece of this polymer clay actually it's very soft and I work with polymer clay like this yeah, it's quite sticky you know I'm sure the children especially parents are not going to be happy if they buy this type of polymer clay I remove my, my um, 
gloves and I start cleaning and actually I clean pretty well. It's easy to clean, especially when you use wet, uh, wet napkin. And then I start working and I think, okay, I'm going to use this anyway. I'm going to use this type of, uh, um, if I start it, I have to use it. So I'm going to kind of make more beads. And you can see here, I made some beads. I put some, I put some pins. I have like short pins and also I can cut some pins and make it short if I need it. So I'm cutting some like, you know, approximate size I have. I know it's not extremely equal. amount of red and blue polymer clay and I think the problem that the color uh, gives this kind of mess because if it's dry a little bit it's actually perfect material to work with it's normal size it's a good size not sure but I hope its size is okay maybe I start with one maybe I start with one because if it's not working then I'm not gonna make mess with my okay probably too big but we'll see It's actually too big because <laughs> ah, it's, it's to make like this one okay okay but look at this beauty look at this beauty so actually wow this is nice so it's probably too big for this size we'll do like this we'll do like this we'll take a little bit of red and then I put it here this is like not the round one and I have some other round one so we'll do it again
done. Wow! Look at this. Ha! Huh. I like it. I like it. I like it. You know, I like it. It's still kind of like, you know, sticky, but... So I was playing... Um, I decided to play with this clay f like for another 40 minutes and I got some bits. I was making bits. I tried to use some hot shapes and mix the colors and now it's drying. So I'm going to cover this part with uh, varnish and I want to see how it actually look with varnish. And this one I was covering with Mod Podge and I'm pretty happy about the result you know it actually looks very nice and uh, even like hearts look at this beautiful hearts and uh, the red one the blue one they are drying I use the spins just to put some uh, sparkling mod podge and the red one it's almost dry and uh, I add to some clay this glitter especially green one um, and also i was adding this type of glitter like powder glitter and i realized it doesn't work properly uh, what actually i learned about this um, type of clay if you open the package and um, you allow the air to react with the clay then in half an hour it's much better and then actually start molding like you're playing we're preparing this clay and uh, it's it works it allows you to mix the colors to create like you know different combination of colors different shapes so it's not bad it's not bad and as i say as i said you don't need to use a stove you just use the air to dry but it takes from this experience I have, it takes approximately uh, one day to dry, like for this this size. And this size of bits require, I would say, two days, three days to be dry completely. So we'll see what's going to happen, right? So now it's drying. And I didn't throw away uh, the rest of the clay. Actually, it was fun to work. And... Uh, this is not the end. I'm going to show you later when it's completely dry, when I'm done with this part of like bits. I'm actually going to share with you what I made of this. Like, for example, this is my future oranges. I'm going to make very cute. They're so nice. I'm going to make um, uh, some leaves probably like look like real oranges. And, you know, I use to get this texture. This one stone it's a lava stone uh, usually people people use it for feet to clean feet uh, whenever they take shower or bath so i was using to make this beautiful texture it's like really nice and um, i was playing with some shapes it's not dry completely like small bits are dry but bigger ones are not so follow me, subscribe to my channel, follow me, and I will show you in a week probably because I want everything to be dried completely. So I'm going to show you what I made with these bits and what else I was making with this uh, air dry clay for kids. So bye-bye.